Welcome back, America, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is Sunday, August 8, 2021. And because it's Sunday, it's, it means it's two first today on, on COVID-19 analysis reports. That's right. Today, you get two reports for the price of one. In addition to the daily COVID-19 analysis, you also get the weekly COVID-19 vaccine rollout report for our country of America. Okay? So let's go. Before we get started, of course, uh, those are always my favorites. You know, click on that subscribe button. We're starting to get up there, so it's pretty impressive. You know, I think it's maybe over 250 subscribers now, maybe 275, okay? Thanks so much for all those people who have subscribed. Also, don't forget to click the like button. And then finally, most important, click that share button. Share this video on your Facebook and your Twitter accounts today. You can also, that's right, you can also um, Click on the share button, copy and paste the link to this video into an email or text message, and share the news with your friends and family that way, right? So first of all, let's take a look at the vaccine rollout report. Let me remember why I stretch my leg here. My, my foot's falling asleep. Okay. What do you see here? We see that currently America has administered 349 million cases, doses. Of these, 194 million have received one dose, and 186 million have received the full treatment, whatever that is. Percentage-wise, well, you can see that 58.7% of the population has received one dose. And 50% 50 of the population has received the full treatment. So we need to keep on asking, because at what point are we going to start seeing these uh, doses, these, the, the, this vaccination rates, translate into reduced number of deaths? Notice I said deaths and not cases, okay? Let's take a look over here now. Okay, you can see currently America, since January 2020, has had 3.5 uh, million cases and 616,000 deaths. Now, if we look at the numbers for, the, for January for 20 and 2021, you see the trend in, uh, in cases back in 2020 was, was a steady increase from about mid-July onward. But yet, during the first six months, of uh, 2021, the number of cases decreased steadily. Now, you are seeing a spike up here. Let's take a look at deaths now. Again, you can see we had an increase, continuing increase in COVID-19 deaths in 2020 for the first six months. Not actually for the, for all, for not just the first six months, for all the months. And in but 2021, we do see a declining pattern. We do see a bit of a spike up here. This would be over a thousand deaths for a single day. What's this over here? Uh, let's see. So this is the number of cases for the previous twelve months. Okay. Deaths for the previous twelve months. Okay. Monthly cases. You can see one, two, three, four, five, five weeks in a row now we saw an increase in cases. But uh, deaths have remained relatively low. This number here would be 2,500 deaths for a week. So this is say 3,500 deaths for a week. But you know, look look where we came from. Okay, uh, remains to be seen. You know, if or when the COVID-19 vaccine will begin to knock the, we be able, we, we result in a reduction in the number of deaths. That remains to be seen. So here's monthly cases. You can see the numbers for, for July was well, was higher than the previous two months. Still remain relatively low compared to these two numbers here. Deaths, look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Six months in a row, we've had, we had uh, decreases in COVID-19 deaths. And that's the number I want you folks to focus on. I want you to focus on deaths and not cases. Because according to Washington University, the single most important factor in tracking the spread of a disease is daily deaths. So don't be misled by cases and hospital beds. This is the number that matters, okay? Anyway, 
what this tells us is that uh, well, you can see up here uh, we had a spike up here. So, so last reported time we had uh, seventy five uh, uh, for every hundred thousand people in the U.S. seventy five had COVID nineteen. And you can come down here to the average, and there was actually closer to maybe forty five. 40 to 45 uh, people have, uh, on average, have COVID-19 in America. Yes? Well, you can see this. This is this is a half a person. This is a fourth of a person. So for right now in the U.S., uh, for every 100,000 people, one-fourth of a person is dying of COVID-19. And you can see some flattening here. Although it does appear to be turning back up. You can see some flattening in date cases by date. These are cumulative cases. But you can see here, if we, if we were to draw a line back up here, you would see that this line would continue back over to here. So we are seeing a flattening in COVID-19 deaths in America now, okay? But anyway, America, that does conclude your COVID-19 analysis for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to click that share button. Share this video on your Facebook and your Twitter account today. Thanks so much for your time, America. We'll catch you tomorrow with an update report.